Ah, who's this? Hi there, year one and two. It's Mrs. Simpson here in my living room library with Penelope, of course. But you'll notice Penelope is not sitting on my chair anymore. She's gained a little bit of weight since she's been sitting in, in the house in the library here in my living room. So I've had to put her behind the chair. So I'm sure you've all figured out that this is Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty is going to be what our stories are going to be about today. So here is Humpty Dumpty. Now Humpty Dumpty, the story is so easy, it would take no time at all to read it. And I think we could do it together. But before we do that, let's have a look at the book. So first of all, the title, Humpty Dumpty, and it doesn't have an author on the front. In the back, it doesn't have an author. Let's think. Why doesn't Humpty Dumpty have an author? We all know that the author is the person who, yes, that's correct, who wrote the story. Well, perhaps the Humpty Dumpty book doesn't have an author because Humpty Dumpty is a long time rhyme that everyone knows. But we do know that this book has the big letter, right, the letter D. I think Mr. Ronnie must have decided that the author of this book was Humpty Dumpty himself because year one and two we know that the big letter on the front of the book comes from the author's last name and we also know that it must have come from the PBN part of the library. As we know, this is the call number. So Humpty Dumpty is going to help us with our story. So here we go. Let's do it together. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty together again. But now it gets interesting. Humpty Dumpty did get put back together again because I have this book from our library. Can you sit there, Humpty? Called After the Fall. Now this book is authored by Dan Santat. And if you look very closely, it says, after the fall, how Humpty Dumpty got back up again. And being in the library as long as we have, especially in year two, we will know that there is no black letter on the front of this book. So this book could not have come from the PBN part of the library like our other book. Thinking now, where is it going to come from? Yes, if you said PB, here we go. P-B-S-A-N. And where does S-A-N come from? Yes, it comes from the first three letters of the author's last name. So, this book happens to be a Caldecott Medal winner. And if anybody in, in uh, our school takes the circle lines, they will know that Caldecott is a MRT star. So, after the fall, how Humpty Dumpty got back up again. I'm going to read it this way because the words are a little hard to see when you read sideways. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot high up on the wall. I know, it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. So here's the wall. Then one day I fell, I'm kind of famous for that actually, 
People called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little bit grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life that day. Okay, it's getting a little easier now. Kings County Hospital. Fortunately for me, the King's men managed to put me back together again, even though the rhyme says they didn't. Well, most of me got put back together. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with band-aids and glue. Why? Is Humpty not sleeping in his bed? Why is Humpty sleeping on the floor? Mm. Let's see if it tells us on the next page. And it, after that day, I was afraid of heights. So if you said that, you were correct. And I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. If you look closely, the most interesting and appetizing or delicious cereals look like they are all on the top shelf. Poor Humpty. I walked past that wall every day and I would think about climbing the ladder again. I really missed being with the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I knew accidents can happen. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing with binoculars. And then, one day, an idea flew by. Look at that. It's a paper airplane. Making planes was a lot harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day, I kept trying and trying. You can see the four different pictures. Poor Humpty, his head is on the desk. He is a bit frustrated, but he did not give up because look what he made. It wasn't just a simple airplane, it was the most beautiful airplane. In fact, he finally got it just right. But is it even an airplane? It looks to me like a bird. Well, the plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt this happy in a long time. No, it wasn't the same as being in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Now, bird flying. Ooh, where's this story going? Can you predict something? What might happen? Ah, let's keep going. Let's see if your guess is right. Unfortunately, and Humpty knows this, accidents can happen. They always do. So if you look closely at this picture, here is Humpty. I'll just turn the book. Okay. There's the bird. There's the wall. I'll turn it this way. Where is his bird going? Not back to Humpty. 
I almost walked away again. But then I thought about all the time I had spent working on my plane and all the other things I missed. And I decided to climb the wall again because there was his bird. So this is a good picture to show perspective. Humpty is here, and he's looking up at where he has to climb. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just kept climbing, one step at a time. Until I was no longer afraid. So you have to look closely, but you can see Humpty. He's at the top of the wall and he's cheering. He made it to the top. <gasps> Oh, I'm going to do it like this so I don't give everything away. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for fall falling. Okay, something interesting is happening to Humpty. He's cracking. What are these? And hopefully, you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. Something is very seriously wrong. Have you guessed? What kind of eggs crack open? And something interesting comes out. Of course, a bird hump. Humpty Dumpty turned out to be a bird who flew away and learned how to fly. Now, nobody was expecting that ending, I bet. And I'm sure when the person who wrote Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a big fall, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Never thought that somebody one day named Dan Santa would write a story about what happened to Humpty Dumpty after he fell off the wall. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story, year one and year two. And until I see you the next time with a story, goodbye and goodbye from Penelope. Be well and be good.